I'm Julie Goodnight with a safety tip brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association. Whenever you're around horses, and especially when you're riding horses, it's important to have safe and appropriate footwear. That means you have a boot made with a sturdy construction, with at least a half inch to one inch heel, and a smooth sole. You know, as with all your critical horse equipment, it's important to keep your boots clean and conditioned and disinfected. This will not only help with the longevity or durability of your boots, but will also help prevent cross-contamination between horse properties. Having clean and shiny boots is not only important for a professional image, but it also will make sure that you have a show ring ready appearance. I'm gonna show you in four quick and easy steps how to have clean and polished riding boots. First, let's make sure you have all of the supplies and products that you need. Here's the stuff that I like to use when cleaning my boots. I like to have a uh, stack of rags to use for the various stages. I want at least one of them to be a damp rag. I love using old pantyhose. It'll really bring out the finished shine in your boots. Um, I use a variety of different sponges at different stages. I also want to have some brushes, some dry brushes for getting the mud and caked on stuff in the creases and seams of my boot. Sometimes I even need to use a hoof pick to get uh, the more stubborn mud uh, prized loose. And then there's going to be a few products that I'm going to use in my boot cleaning endeavor. First of all, I want some kind of glycerin soap that's appropriate uh, for leather. I prefer a spray-on glycerin because it's easier to use and I just think it does a better job getting into all the little nooks and cranny of your boot and then drawing out um, the dirt and grime that's gotten worked in there. After we soap the leather and get it nice and clean, we're going to want to have some kind of oil or a non-oily leather conditioner such as this. I use a lot of this product. It helps keep all of my leather soft and supple and uh, with a really nice feel, helps prevent it from being dried out. Um, it also helps restore the natural oils of the leather that you may have taken out some of um, when you did the soaping uh, first step. Um, the next, at the next stage, I may want to use either a black or a brown uh, shoe polish. This is going to be a waxy kind of polish that I can use to repair any damage to the boot. This is gonna be especially important when you're using uh, or cleaning boots that have a dyed leather finish like a black, um, solid black boot or a solid brown boot. Um, so I always keep some shoe polish on hand. And then we have our um, final finish coat um, that I want to use after I've gotten the boots clean, I've restored um, the natural oils with my leather conditioner. Um, I'm going to put some kind of finish layer on the boot. This will help act as a sealant. Um, this is also often your shining layer, so we can uh, go to our pantyhose now and bring out the really fine shine in that leather. If I am going to be using that boot in a really wet environment, I'm probably going to want to finish off with a water repellent um, on top of all of the rest of the stuff. So we've got all of our supplies and products that we need. I've got two pairs of really dirty riding boots. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Step one is going to be to clean off all the excess dirt and mud and caked on places. Um, if I have a sole of my boot that has any kind of tread in there. I'm going to make sure I want to take my hoof pick and get in and scrape um, through that uh, mud. Um, so I'm going to start with a dry brush here and I'm just going to brush um, all the excessive dirt off. I don't want to apply any kind of product to this boot. Um, until I get most of the dirt off of it because I certainly don't want to be grinding this dirt into the leather. So I'm going to brush into these uh, creases. I'm going to make sure I get the sole of the boot. Um, I'm going to use a, a tooth 
brush style, stiff bristle brush to really get rid of this caked on mud that's going to be um, down here in the welting of the boot. I don't want to use anything that's so um, stiff and harsh that it would damage any of the threads or leather on the boot, but this is a nylon bristle, fairly stiff. And now I can get in, um, clean the threads off in this welting. I can clean off these areas of caked on mud. If I had a really tough pair of boots with a lot of caked on mud and dirt, I might even uh, put it under, under the water hose, spray it down a little bit, uh, wipe it down, and let it come damp dry before I continue on. Now that I've gotten most of the dirt off, I'm ready for step two, which is to spray on um, this glycerin soap. I want to uh, really make sure I get into every nook and cranny of my boot. I'm not stingy with the glycerin and the soap. Um, it's really important to um, allow this soap, this spray, spray glycerin to penetrate the leather. Um, you'll see it uh, kind of have a bubbly action uh, as it actually almost like a hydrogen peroxide cleans uh, a little cut. This spray, spray glycerin will actually start bubbling up and pulling out some of that uh, ground in grime and dirt and sweat um, that you got from um, all that use around the horse. So once I have given the boot a really good coating with the spray glycerin, I want to just let the boot sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and allow that glycerin to really penetrate and start drying out some of the grime. And then I'm going to take my damp, clean rag I've got right here. Um, once I've allowed this to soak for about 10 or 15 minutes, I'm gonna use my damp, clean rag to wipe away all the excess soap and grime off of my boots. For the next step, now that we've gotten the boots clean, we've wiped off all the excess glycerin and grime and dirt. Next step is reconditioning the leather. I have went ahead and donned a pair of uh, rubber gloves here just to keep the product off of my skin. So I want to be very generous with whatever leather conditioner that you're using. This is the place where you are um, really restoring the natural oils. I like to just use my hands because I can really uh, work it into the leather. I, uh, again, I don't want to be stingy at this stage. I want to make sure that I'm putting a nice, even coating. I'm working it down into the cracks and crevices where you have um, places of wear, like here in the creases above the ankle. I want to really work that product deep down in um, the leather. I'm not worried if there's a little bit of excess product on the leather at this point. In fact, I wanna just keep applying it until I notice the leather is no longer absorbing um, any of the conditioner. So again, this is one of the most important um, parts of the whole cleaning process is to restore um, the natural oil, moisture, and suppleness of the leather. So I'm really um, working it deep um, down into the welting here uh, between the shoe of the boot, if you will, and the sole of the boot. I wanna make sure um, I get around the outside of the leather sole here. And again, if there's a little bit of excess product, um, I'm not worried about it at all. You'll find with your um, dyed leather, such as with this uh, black boot, um, you won't get at quite as much 
um, take up of the product as you do um, with an unfinished or undyed leather, uh, such as the, these Western boots are. So still gonna work that product into all the creases and cracks come around here um, where the uh, boot foot of the boot comes into the sole of the boot. Make sure I uh, get in all the nooks and crannies. So I wanna put enough product on that that leather um, is absorbing and absorbing and absorbing the product. Um, once I've got a really good coating and I've worked it into the leather as best I can, I wanna let the boots sit again for another 15 or 20 minutes. Make sure you're in a warm environment. Uh, if it's really cold outside or wherever you're cleaning your boots, it won't soak up quite as much product. So I wanna let these boots sit for about 20, 30 minutes even, absorb mu as much of this um, conditioning product as it will. And then I'll come back with a clean, dry cloth and wipe off and buff out any excess product. And now we're ready for our final stage of boot cleaning and polishing, the finish stage. And at this point, I'm just dressing the leather up to make it look as best as I can. If you have a formal black boot, such as uh, this English boot, or maybe you have a brown uh, formal boot, or uh, when the leather is dyed, such as it is here, you might wanna touch it up with a little bit of black polish. So I'm just gonna take a cotton rag here, and I wanna um, get a fair amount of product onto my fingertip here, and then wherever I have places, uh, maybe you have a deep gouge in the boot or some scratches. Maybe the boot has just gotten, um, you know, dull and, and starting to lose some of uh, its deep, rich color and luster. So I might want to go back before I put on any kind of um, finished sealant and just go ahead and touch up the black in the places where I think it needs some help, which is often going to be in the foot of the boot or on the inside of the leg where the stirrup comes across the boot. So once I have uh, put a little bit of polish on and I've worked it deep into the uh, area that's showing a little bit of wear, I want to um, buff that into the leather just a little bit. So I want to take my old pantyhose, I just cut it into pieces, and use it to actually um, polish that black off of the boot. So wherever I've put my black leather polish or shoe polish, I want to come back behind it with my um, old pantyhose and just kind of Brillo um, that excess uh, black off of there and you'll start seeing um, a little bit more shiny color come back to the boot. And now we're ready for the final step of our finish um, cleaning process and that is to either apply a leather finish as a sealant that's going to allow you to shine it up and buff it up um, until it really glistens and give you a little bit of a protectant layer. Um, or we're going to apply the waterproofing. Now, I don't want to do both because if I put the finish on, um, it may prevent the water uh, repellent from doing its job. So once I have cleaned and reconditioned the boot, um, touched up the color if I needed to, I can now spray it with my water repellent layer and allow that to soak in and dry. Or because I'm not too worried about water repellent, I'm trying to get um, the biggest shine off of my uh, boots, I want to um, use some leather polish. Now this is uh, a little bit of this goes a very long way. It's a very thin, um, milky sort of substance. So I'm just gonna kind of pour a little bit onto my uh, sponge here. 
And now I'm going to just give a nice light coating. I don't want too much excess product. I'm gonna work the product all the way around the boot. Um, make sure I get into the crev crevices, make sure I get around the heel and the outside of the sole of the boot. I'll come back over here where it's a little bit thick. Um, so I want to try to get a nice even um, layer of this finish product on the boot. And once I have coated both my boots with this finish treatment, I'm gonna allow it to dry and then I'll come back and do a final polishing of the boot. For the final buffing, you're gonna take your short length of old pantyhose I find it's actually easier to put the boot on at this point um, so that you can get a nice buff. I'm going to stretch out my pantyhose and then stretch it across the leather and I'm just going to seesaw back and forth and back and forth sliding it up and down the front of the boot. I'll come around back behind and get uh, here at the heel area all the way up the back side of the boot. And then finally, I'll come across the front sole of the boot and get um, to each side and the back of the boot as well. I've already polished up my English boot. As you can see, it has a nice, beautiful shine to it. Uh, it's uh, ready for the show ring. So remember, keeping your boots clean and polished not only gives you a professional appearance, it also makes the leather softer, more comfortable for your foot. It will also prevent your boots from wearing out, in particular from cracking here at the toe. Um, so remember, keeping your boots clean and polished is not only for safety, but for appearances too. I'm Julie Goodnight. This has been another safety tip brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association. If you'd like to find out more, please visit cha.horse. That's .horse instead of .com.